Hi guys, in this video I will walk you through the process of setting up your ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XD5. First, let's take a look at the bottom of your ASUS Zen unit. What we have here? Here you can see the power socket and two Ethernet ports. The blue labeled one can be used either for connection the device to the internet or local connection between devices. The second one can be used for connection between devices only. This is just LAN port. Also, we have reset button over here, WPS button and the QR code that will help us to set up this device. Now let's connect the unit to the power outlet. The adapter comes with two types of plugs for different sockets. So select the suitable plug and install it on the adapter. Just match the slots like this and glide it in. Uh, now plug in the adapter to the power socket on the device like this and plug it into the power outlet now it's powered on and we can see the green LED indicator on the bottom and on the front panel like this uh, now let's connect to the internet take the Ethernet cable from the box or any other Ethernet cable uh, plug one end in the blue labeled Ethernet port on the device and the second end in your Wi-Fi router or modem or uh, even, you can even connect the device directly to your LAN socket in the wall if you have one. Uh, so now we are all set and we can continue on our smartphone. You need to install ASUS router application from App Store or Google Play Store on Android devices. Uh, now open this application, allow to use your location to find devices on local network also allow on this screen scroll all the way down tap on i'm above the age of 16 years tap on agree agree to the terms and conditions and here is our welcome screen now tap on setup and select asus zen wi-fi series and select your device model it's xd5 uh, tap on enable camera and scan or you can manually, manually connect to uh, the network of this device But let's just scan QR code as a rotor would like to access the camera allow now Just scan the QR code on the bottom of your device try to Fit it in the square now hit join So the device is found and what you have to do is tap on get started. Now it's checking if you're connected to the internet. Make sure your router or modem have the internet access. Uh, on this screen, uh, read this message and if you need to uh, set up special requirements from your ISP, check this checkbox and select the special requirement from here. But uh, I don't need it, I just need to tap next. And now let's create our Wi-Fi network name and password. Uh, let it be Asus Zen. And let's use simple password for this example, but I recommend you to create stronger password, of course. Next, hit done. And now you need to create admin uh, username and password to manage your router in, in web interface. So let's set username as admin and use simple password as well. Next, you need to confirm your password, enter it one more time. Hit done and next. Now it's setting up your network. Asus Router application wants to join our new Wi Fi network, so let's allow this. Tap on join and it's optimizing the network. Just wait for a while. Now this is your summary, your Wi-Fi name and password, your admin uh, username and password. Uh, remember these credentials or write them down. Uh, anyway, you can get this information from the application anytime. So tap on finish, enable notifications or cancel if you don't want notifications, allow this. 
Uh, and if you have an ASUS account, you can enable a remote connection. But let me skip this for this for now. Now ASUS Rotor application is your network control center. If you wish to extend your network and add more than devices, you need to tap on this plus icon at the top right, tap on add AI mesh node and follow on screen instructions. Also, you can swipe left and tap on the screen to see your Wi-Fi settings. You can separate 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. You can change network key, network name and so on. Uh, let's go back to the home screen. Swipe left one more time. Uh, here you can see the loading on CPU and RAM. Swipe left one more time and you can see connected clients. Tap on the screen which devices are connected to your network. You can block users from here. Uh, also, uh, let's go to settings. Uh, here you have a lot of uh, settings to adjust, but what I recommend you to do first is check for firmware update. Tap on that, check the firmware version. Uh, I am currently up to date, but if you have updates, install these updates and explore these settings. And actually, guys, that's it. Uh, your system is up and running. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and be awesome. Bye.